Hey friends, I know it's been a while since I last made a new video because we've been working on album four. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to compose GOAT. So if you haven't heard GOAT before, please do yourself a favor and check it out by clicking this video right here and then come back to this video right here. Something that I used to do that I recommend everyone do if you're trying to learn how to produce or compose or anything is rebuild songs from scratch. When I first started learning to produce, I would remake beats from some of my favorite songs or just beats that I thought were super cool. One of those being Breakfast by Jaden Smith. Um, and this is that beat right here. So anyways, picture this being played on piano. With this being the right hand melody. And this being the left hand melody. So I wanted to take this left hand melody and turn it into a right hand melody just because the triplet thing, it's its already a bit busy. So let's go ahead and bring it over to the original project file. So once we put it in here, it's a lot faster than that. So what we're gonna do is half that. So then I decided to make my own left hand melody just to make it slightly more melodic, so... And you can see this is how that looks right here. Let's go ahead and quantize that. to transpose it so that ends up sounding like this. If you've seen any of the how to make a riff series that I've made, is pretty much the backbone of how I compose some of my riffs. So with all of these MIDI notes right here, you can see that I have a good roadmap of where to go, and now I just need to make this sound interesting on guitar. So here's the guitar track over here. <laughs> Some things to note of how I compose my riffs. A six string guitar tuned in standard can cover five octaves of E, not including harmonics. So four of every other note. I try to use octave displacement to give my riffs more dimension and cover more of the note spectrum. If you throw in harmonics, there's even more range of octave. And aside from the octave displacement, using embellishments like slides, trills, hammer-ons and pull-offs, bends, open string, ringing, tapping, hybrid picking, etc. are all great ways to make a unique sounding riff. Apart from these embellishments, I wanted rhythmic variation beyond just the quarter note. Bum, 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 bum. So taking inspiration from rap music in general, I tried to make my guitar sound like a rapper. One of the most commonly used flows in rap is a simple triplet flow, similar to this. Keep it spicy like old, Got me so high at the Beyond the green rock, I'm rolling. And I've been fucked up at the whole day. Man, we can shut it down. And so after experimenting with trying to make my guitar sound like that, keep it spicy like old Got me so high at the whole day. Beyond the green rock, I'm rolling. And I've been fucked up at the whole day. Man, we can shut it down. She ain't part of bitch, can't come out of time. Show me how you do it. That's when the ball got them up in the sun. Keep it spicy like old bay. Got me so high at the whole day. I realized, okay, so rather than just the simple quarter note of the melody, I need 
to add triplets in. I was trying to double the riff here once I got halfway through, but I accidentally ended up only selecting this, so it ended up sounding like... And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool the way that it lands before the downbeat. So then I kept that and just... And once it reached... It caught up to itself. So here is the original beat that Scott made for the riff. guys enjoyed this video shout out jaden smith for the inspiration hope you guys have a merry christmas and uh like and subscribe